This conference will now be recorded. Hi, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to our monthly uh, partner uh, Lunch and Learn. Uh, today, I'm really uh, excited to be welcoming uh, Blair Hudson from uh, Vonage uh, to review the Vonage Reach pre uh, product and uh, discuss business texting and uh, why it's such a big deal. Um, uh, we, uh, you know, no doubt we all know uh, or all have clients who uh, struggle to get their communications messages out to their clients and so on and so forth or their prospects. Um, business texting offers another, another uh, way of reaching out to those folks very effectively and not wanting to steal too much thunder from Blair, I'm just going to hand straight over to him. Again, thanks everyone for your time today. We will be recording this. It will be going up onto our uh, website, etc., and you will get a follow-up with the uh, Chief Lessons Learned uh, after after the meeting today. Uh, thanks. Over to you, Blair. Perfect. Thanks, Sam. Uh, as Sam mentioned, my name is Blair Hudson. I am the Vonage Reach Specialist, which is the uh, kind of the communication, the mass communication tool that Vonage offers. And, and really, as Sam mentioned, it's a better way for your clients to engage with their staff, their employees, their uh, customers or clients, whomever they need to contact and stay in communication with. All right, so going through quick agenda, why use texting? Uh, basic use case overview, we'll focus on a couple of verticals. Uh, then a life cycle engagement. This is where Vonage Reach really shines is the life cycle engagement piece. So we'll talk about what that means. Um, then a quick product overview. And then from there, we'll actually jump into the Vonage Reach platform and walk through that as well, hopefully saving a few minutes for any Q&A at the end. So to kick us off, why texting? Why do businesses at this point need to text their, their clients, their employees, whomever, right? The important thing here, and the stats are on the screen, and it's, it's a blaring example of why they need to text. 98% read rate. Compare that to emails. You know, that's probably depending on the company, a 20 to 35 maybe percent read rate. Uh, phone calls, nobody answers the phone anymore. Let's be perfectly honest. So texting is the way to go for businesses. If they're not currently leveraging some sort of texting software, texting communication for their business, they're completely missing the boat. Right? Yeah, Blair, we, we, uh, we, uh, we send out uh, newsletters to our partners um, mm -hmm. and you know, even even though we like to think we're in front of our partners and we like to think that they're going to read uh, what we send them, you know, our uh, our read rates are probably probably around about 15 percent. Open rates probably open rates probably less than that, you know, um, and response rates probably response rates probably you know five percent, right? So I mean, this is just incredible, right? <laughs> I mean, absolutely. It's it's huge. I mean, comparing texting numbers versus what you're getting via email. I mean, the question actually posed to you at this point is why not use texting, right? Why not leverage the communication tool that we all have at our disposal at this point? You know. Yeah. Um, so kind of going forward, I mean, that that kind of sets the stage, right? It, it's it's let's text, let's be in contact, let's be more efficient with how we're communicating and increase those read rates. Right, it does no good to waste our time sending out information if our clients, our employees, whomever, are not reading it, or they're just not getting it. Right, with email, it's spam folders control everything nowadays. You know, I may once a month go into my spam folder and just mass delete because that's where a lot of the junk goes to. Right, texting, you don't have that option. You're actually reaching them on their phone. So let's talk can about I, some sample. Can, can, can yeah. I ask a question, just just generically to uh, our partners on the call today? You know. Uh, what percentage of your clients do you think you actually have cell phone numbers for and so on and so forth, guys? Rich, you want to throw a number out? You want to have a guess? Percentage? I, I, would, I would bet for us we have uh, over 50% cell phones because we need them for emergency contact for most of our clients. Right. And I'm, I'm sure, Steve, that's probably pretty, yeah, I'd imagine you you might even have more than that, right? Yeah, I would, I would think that it would be north of that. And uh, obviously, Ariel, you probably have a hundred percent, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely hundred percent. Right, right. So, so again, it's you know, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely uh, worth considering, and I think uh, the rest of the uh, this 
the rest of the presentation will reinforce that here. Thanks, bud. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll talk about some sample industries. Now these are just kind of a big seven industries. Obviously this is not an exhaustive list of industries and verticals, um, but this is just kind of highlight how texting can be better than email. And you'll notice here, everything that's in blue, obviously these are much better with texting than with email, but email can really, or I mean texting can really solve all of these pieces, right? So think about financial institutions, um, speeding up loan process, right? You want to be able to automate a message that goes out and say, hey, look, we're waiting on you to sign these disclosures to get them back so we can go to the next step, right? Hitting their cell phones right away, you get a quick response. Fraud prevention, transactional alerts, huge nowadays, right? Finance companies need to keep their clients safe and their clients' data safe. Well, how do you do that? How do you do it quick and efficiently? Text message straight to their phone if there's any suspected fraud on their account, right? My wife gets those alerts all the time uh, from her bank. Hey, look, this transaction, please confirm that it was the right transaction, right? Done to the cell phone, quick, easy. Now your clients are safe. Higher education uh, really runs the gamut, right? Recruiting new students, um, filling seats, filling uh, information for games and events. But what about that critical alert piece? How do you keep your, your student body safe? How are you getting the message out? Hey, active shooter, right? Use text messaging. It's the way to go when it comes to businesses. Hospitality, restaurants, retail, I'll kind of lump those together uh, because they have a lot, of, a lot of similar use cases. It's, it's you know, ROI. How do you get people in? How do you keep people? What's your retention rate? If somebody comes to your restaurant one time, what are you doing to get them to come back? Well, let's sign them up for you know, VIP rewards. Let's push out those promotions to them. Let's say, hey, happy birthday. Come on in for a taco, right? Doing all that from a restaurant, retail, or even hospitality space is huge. And then nowadays, yeah, I'm just, the important. I'm just, Go ahead. just thinking of like, yeah, maybe you're getting in the retail, like so retail slash restaurant sort of thing. I can just imagine like your your fast food restaurant, your pizza pizza restaurants, and so on and so forth, sending out uh, a text message with a coupon for a uh, free delivery. Uh, you know, three hours before the Bears game, right? And like, mm -hmm. how many more? Oh shit! You know what? That's perfect. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I'll order, I'll order, uh, you know, I'll order pizza from A versus B, right? You know, it's just like take that away from them, right? Absolutely, and and we're all visual people anyway. So how about you know attaching an image of that nice juicy pepperoni or vegetarian pizza right in that text message? So now you mm -hmm. get the visual stimulation as well as that incentive to you know the coupon incentive to go ahead and purchase now you know, a few minutes before the Raiders game that's coming on, right? So definitely a way to use it, but then going a step further, right? And we'll talk about this when it comes to life cycle engagement, but what are you doing to keep them engaged? Get surveys from them. Use texting to get those follow-up surveys, quick, instant feedback from those clients. Really important for a lot of businesses nowadays. Government, human resources, a lot of different use cases here. Government, really anything can happen depending on that government, you know, body's need city, town, federal, uh, critical alerts. If it's, uh, you know, like a utility, maybe sending out, hey, uh, road closure, water main burst, whatever, steer clear of these areas, keeping their constituents safe and informed. Uh, New York State uh, DMV actually sends out uh, renewal notifications via text. So a lot of ways that this can be leveraged for government organizations. HR, we'll talk about that here in a second, so I'm not gonna go too deep in that. Uh, but when we go over to departmental use cases, all businesses, no matter what vertical they're in, have aspects of these departments, HR, service, IT, or sales, all right? So if you can break your clients into, you know, essentially four quadrants, what do they need? How are they communicating? HR, how are they recruiting? Are they just using the standard Zip Recruiter or Indeed or LinkedIn? Or are they actively getting people to engage via text and then qualifying using something like Vonage Reach to qualify those applicants and make sure they're getting the right jobs. Okay. And then collecting that data to push out messages to them actively and say, hey, look, this group of clients or this group of potential recruits, we have these jobs that fit your needs. Click the link to apply. Right. Steve, Leverage always, that texting, quickly fill Steve, positions. Steve, I was kind of thinking with uh, your stuff, with your legal shield stuff. You're dealing with a lot of HR guys, right? And um, you know, this might be a, a interesting conversation to, for, for them to have. You know, whether it's 
you, you know, signing up for benefits or, or, or whatever, or scheduling or whatever, right? Yeah, so, I mean, the problem with that is most of their communication is already automated through their line of business application that they use to manage all of that stuff. So, okay, you have to see how that it would integrate. Yeah, no, and I think that obviously, yeah, they may they may have that right, but again, if that automation just ends up with emails and then and then people aren't actually acting upon it, it's kind of like, well, whatever. Yeah, hey, guess what? We're sending it out. Nobody's doing anything with it, right? So it's just uh, definitely worth exploring. Anyway, maybe maybe Blair, you can give us some. Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Some some thoughts on that. Yeah, and the idea here is there are a lot of businesses, companies that have something built into a CRM or ATS or what have you, but a lot of that is just one-way communication and only pushes out very specific sets of communication. With something like Vonage Reach, we can actually engage. We can automate a chat bot, essentially, right? Pushing out questions, getting feedback, having all that done automatically and all that data is collected and stored. Right. So it goes beyond pushing out those alerts or those jobs. It's now let's actually automate a conversation with those people to ask questions, get information and get them the right information. So it goes and beyond think, just pushing out those one way messages. And I think you, you get to it a little later on. But I think I think obviously that some of that integration, it, you are integrating stuff. Right. It's not just sitting on the Vonage platform. Right. You are integrating with their other with their other applications. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll touch on this in a minute, but, but Vonage Reach is great because it has a nice out of the box, ready to use web-based platform, right? Sign in from any web enabled device, go to town, but there's also an open API. So if they want to integrate with, you know, their ATS or CRM, what have you, they can certainly do that. So we have both channels. It's really a complete communication tool when it comes to that. Cool. And not to hammer through the rest of these real quick, uh, but customer service, pretty straightforward, right? Anything that your customer service team needs to do, or even IT for that matter, is we can automate a lot of that and handle all of those routine conversations using our chatbot. You know, IT, text IT help, and now it's going to troubleshoot that client so that your IT personnel can save their time because they don't want to talk to people anyway, right? So it's a way for our IT folk um, to be able to automate a lot of those chores, a lot of those routine conversations before having to ever actually get on the phone and talk to somebody. Sales and marketing, really, that's where texting is really powerful, right? Sending out those coupons, sending out those alerts, building drip campaigns to stay in touch with your clients, your customers, so that you're not losing touch, right? You don't want them to drift off to, you know, using that pizza, for example, drift off to a pizza chain when, when you already had them. They already came into your store. Well, let's leverage those clients and make sure they're coming back. Now to hop in here to what I'm talking about when I'm talking about lifecycle engagement. So this is a demo that, that we have um, for a client of ours. It's a ski resort, but this is gonna take you through what we mean by lifecycle engagement. It's not just sending out that initial message or sending out that one coupon or that one HR alert. It's let's engage through the entire process, right? So we're gonna do some lead generation. You know, they text in a keyword, they're gonna get back, you know, a response. Hey, great, thanks for signing up. We look forward to working with you but really tell us more about yourself. So we capture their name, we capture their email, we can really capture any data that the business wants. Now we're gonna nurture, so we're kind of moving on to that next phase there where you know, after a week, after a month, whatever it is, we drop them a note, you know, say, hey look, you know, here's a coupon. We can also send it through their email. Again, it's omni-channel communication. So you know, texting, email, uh, social media posting, we can do it all. all right, so we continue to nurture, we continue to nurture, right? drip campaign, keeping in touch. Client, you know, converts, yeah, great. Let's sign up for our package. Well, now we automatically send them their confirmation via email. Perfect, right? We're, all this is automated. Okay. Now it's now it's post-conversion. They're on the resort, they come in, they sign up, right? Hey, great, I'm happy to be here. Perfect, text ski resort so that we can get you more information about your stay. Client text ski resort, we let them know, hey, look, you're staying two days. Here's what the snow conditions are. Here's the weather keeping them informed, keeping their experience level high. They're super happy. So when they're done, we drop them a survey. Tell us about your experience. Rate your experience. Would you come back? Would you refer us to a friend? And depending on the feedback they give, great. Thank you for your feedback. Here's a coupon. So it's really, it's really about the entire process with, with your customers and clients. 
right? It's not just that one piece, that one message. It's the life cycle. We want to make sure they're happy from start to finish. We want to get them in. We want to capture that contact or capture that lead and then stay in contact throughout the entire time. And this is where Vonage Reach really excels. Okay, so when, when the question came up, well, it was built into their CRM or, or what have you, and they can push out those messages. What else is that CRM doing, that messaging platform within it? Can they do all this? Because I doubt it. It goes beyond just that initial need. Let's talk about the entire communication. Okay. And these are our competitive advantages reach, right? I'm not going to go through these. Um, you all get a copy of this. But really, it goes beyond what everybody else can do. And this is what everybody else can do, right? There's some cool tools out there. But it's not going to be the complete life cycle. It's going to be a piece here, a piece there. You've got a lot of holes, right? And in your communication strategy nowadays, you don't need holes. And that's where Vonage Reach is going to fill those holes for you, fill those holes for your client, and make sure that all that communication is handled. So this question came up earlier. Uh, I think Sam actually mentioned it. The communication within Vonage Reach is twofold, right? We have our web-based platform. Again, sign in from your laptop, desktop, iPad whatever it may be, schedule your messages, create your campaigns, you're good to go. But we have a wealth of clients that don't necessarily want to use the platform. They want to do the integration into you know, their ATS. Maybe, maybe they use Bullhorn right, or, or their Salesforce shop. Well, we have an open API, so they can do that integration. Okay. So what does messaging look like in today's market? Really, it's a lot of blanket bombing. Sending a message to a thousand people without any sort of feel for what that client wants or needs, right? Where does Vonage reach differ? Well, we're going to target those people. It's about the right message at the right time. So you want to be able to send out, you know, that going back to that pizza example, right? You want to be able to send out your promotion um, three hours before the Raiders game. Hey, you know, order your pizza now to have it in time for the game. And you want to push out an image of a pepperoni pizza. There is a good portion of the population that does not want pepperoni because they are vegetarians. With Vonage Reach, you can actually target those messages. You push out those pepperoni pizzas to those meat lovers. But so that you don't alienate the vegetarians in your clientele, well, now let's push out that vegetarian lover's pizza to those clientele. Right? Right message at the right time to the right audience. And that's one of the pieces where Reach differentiates itself from everybody in the marketplace. So it's nice, it's great, good system. You can log in and do some things, but it's not a one size fits all approach. We actually have enterprise features. And this is a lot of the questions we get are, well, how do I manage my account? If I've got a location in, I don't know, Iowa and one in Florida, do they all use the same account? Well, no, you can actually set it up with a different sub account with the management. We can actually allocate resources to each so that they're completely separate, right? It's really about those enterprise features for those enterprise clients. Think of this, it could be location-based if they want you know, a sales department versus ops versus service. However they want to set it up and set up their management of their messaging platform, we can definitely do that. Reach is built to handle that. And again, the important piece here, we also have that integration. Okay. Some of the services that are offered, you see it often in the marketplace where you sign up, for any service nowadays and you're left on your own, you got to figure it out and then you just stop using it. We're different. We are big on service. Vonage Reach can offer a dedicated account manager. This is somebody from our team to work with your client specifically, how often they need it, monthly, quarterly, whatever it is. Talk about campaigns, uh, talk about compliance, whatever it is your client needs, we are there to make sure they're successful. We offer training and support uh, our support team, they're located in Southern California, and they are there seven days a week, 365 days a year. All right, so if you've got a business that's working on Christmas Day, we are working on Christmas Day for you. And nobody else is going to do this for your clients. Okay. And then wrapping up here, opportunities that you have come up, questions that come up, please reach out to Angela or reach out to Sam and say, hey, look, we have this opportunity. What are your thoughts? What can we do? How can we approach reach? And then we'll all get in contact. We can get on the phone. We can schedule demos for your clients. We can run through qualifying questions with your clients. We can even provide collateral for your clients. So whatever you need, just get in touch with Angela or Sam, and we'll make it happen. Right. Great. So, so Brian, you can 
Are you gonna, uh, uh, Blair? Are you gonna actually go into the actual portal in the background? Can you? Can you yep, give us I'm a pulling quick, it up right notes? now. Perfect. And as soon as it loads, bingo. Here we go. All right. Awesome. So this is the Vonage Reach dashboard. All right. Nice, easy to use, clean. I'm not going to show anything about API because, as we all know, when it comes to API, there's really nothing to show, right? So we'll talk about the web platform. I'm going to highlight a few of these key pieces and then talk about really the fun stuff here, our auto campaigns, uh, our voting features, and some of that. So I'm going to go through this and highlight it. And as we go through any questions or concerns, feel free to shout them out. This part, for me, I like to keep informal uh, as we go through it. So this is the Vonage Reach dashboard. And here's what's important about the dashboard is we don't provide reach in pieces. It's not sold in pieces. They don't have to be like, well, I really only want to send out critical alerts. Um, so I want to purchase that of it, but I may want to do marketing later. Well, great. You get access to everything right off the bat. Okay. Up here are some cool tools, right? We have tutorial videos for those clients that are really try to be self-sufficient, but they get stuck. We have a tutorial video on every feature within the platform. Again, it's about making your client successful. Okay. But to hop into these pieces, just kind of breeze through them and give a highlight. All right, contacts and database. And this is my demo account, so there's a lot of clutter. So go ahead and ignore the clutter. But the idea here is these are contact groups. And we had a call with a client yesterday who was concerned because their current platform that they use doesn't allow them to create contact groups. So if they send a message, it has to go to everybody within their platform. Well, with this, with Bonage Reach, you can have as many distribution lists or contact groups as you want. So it's really about targeting and getting specific with whom you have. If you're a school, K through 12, university, maybe you've got this broken down by age group, right? Or parents of specific age groups or by teacher or by location, right? You can, you can have that sort of control. If it's an internal communication piece, maybe you have all managers and then part-timers and then by location, right? So a number of different ways that that business can structure this depending on their needs. Adding contacts in. So there's a couple of different ways that the business can get their contacts in. They're going to add them one by one, which is great. I mean, that's time consuming. Nobody really does it except for those one-off occasions. But you can also import a CSV file. So talking about compliance here for a second and compliance as we know is a big deal. Uh, TCPA, which is the Telephone and Consumer Protection Act, is what controls compliance when it comes to texting in mass such as this. So you have to, as a business, have consent to send messages from those individuals. We provide tools with Vonage Reach to do that. I'll touch on those here in a second. But you can also get that consent outside of Vonage Reach, right? If you're a finance company or, um, you know, when you go to an auto dealership and they make you fill out that questionnaire of what you're looking for, Right. If there's a checkbox there, something along the lines of, you know, I give consent to receive messages, you know, phone calls, et cetera, et cetera. Check the box, sign it. There you go. That's your consent. OK, very simple, very easy to do. We can actually talk to them about how to do it, how to word it. Ultimately, uh, the caveat is, is we are not lawyers. It's up to them to consult their, their legal team or what have you. But we can definitely point them in the right direction. OK, so the thing I want to point out on this screen, which is really important for businesses, right? Bonage Reach is set up to handle name, email, and mobile number. But that doesn't do it for most businesses. And you want to be able to target messages. So all of these fields are ones that I've created for various demos. Your business, your clients can do the same thing. So if they want to, you know, if it's an auto dealership and they want to know who their technician was, right, or their service date, uh, birthday, anniversary dates, think of, you know, retail or a restaurant or even, you know, HR use cases for that matter. You know, what's your favorite ski mountain? Right, so they can create these fields that fit their business needs, which is really important. Okay. And as I mentioned, you can import list as well. So if you have those, you're gonna get this pop up every time. We're big on compliance. We wanna make sure that everybody is as protected as we can make them and give them the tools to be successful. Okay, because it does nobody any good if somebody gets sued because they're getting spammed. So we try to prevent that as much as possible, but ultimately it's on the business themselves. Okay. I, Once you go, Blair, on, go on, on that, you know, when, when people get their first text message, don't they always have a like, you know, there's always a standard thing within the design of the first message. 
you know, pre you know, reply stop to stop these things and so on and so forth. And if somebody does reply stop thereafter, how how does how does the uh, how does the record track that? Yeah, absolutely. So if they're using one of the tools that we have within the platform, uh, such as keywords or online sign up pages, and I'll show that in a second, the initial response they get back is that compliance piece. You signed up for this list, expect to receive this many messages per month, text help for help, or stop to opt out. Additionally, every message that we send out via Vonage Reach or that the client send out via Vonage Reach, at the bottom is that opt out footer, text stop to opt out. If an individual does text stop and opt out, they are removed completely from Vonage Reach. That prevents the business from inadvertently sending them another message. So they would actually be what instead of just being marked on the on the Vonage Reach platform as opted out, they get deleted from it. They yep, they are removed from Vonage Reach, and that's another consumer protection feature that's built in is okay. to Vonage Reach to protect not only consumer but also protect the business. Is there actually mm -hmm. that context is removed from Vonage Reach? And going through importing contacts, it's very simple. We get this question a lot. Well, I have this list, or I, I had this old texting platform. I have consent for them, but how do I get it in? Very simple. CSV file, upload it. Just make sure there's a column, you know, first name, last name, mobile number, any of those other data points they want. Hit continue. The system's going to map it out, and you're good to go. It takes all of a minute, if that, to import a file. Okay. So that's getting contacts in manually. Now, kind of the important thing here is from a marketing perspective or, or what have you, keywords are the way to go. You see them everywhere nowadays, right? Text McDonald's to 12345 or text Nordstrom to 12345, right? You text in Nordstrom, you get back the message, hey, great for signing up, you know, we'll send you coupons and whatnot. Same idea here in that you can create keywords. Keywords can be specific to anything. If they're marketing related, great. You know, text Joe Sushi to 50601. Uh, from a recruiting, you know, text jobs or text uh, HR benefits right? The business can set up these keywords however they see fit, right? Once that individual opts in, they're added to a specific distribution list, depending on what the business wants. Again, they're able to partition individuals to make sure that they're getting the right people into the right groups. Somebody texting a keyword, they get a message back, you know, hey, thanks for signing up. You know, whatever, whatever the message is they want to present, but the nice thing about Vonage Reach is once they text in that keyword, Vonage Reach captures the cell phone number. But that's all we have at this point. Remember those data points that we were hoping to have? Well, we can actually collect them. Tell us your name, right? Tell us your address. Tell us your favorite mountain. You know, tell us your favorite pizza topping, right? So you can add these in so that when it what it looks like to a client, they text in keyword. They get back, you know, initial message back plus, hey, please tell us your name. We'd like to get you know, but get to know you better. They respond with their name. Awesome. Thanks for that. Now go ahead and tell us what your favorite pizza topping is, right? And every time that individual responds with the answer, it is captured and associated with their cell phone record within Vonage Reach. Again, if you have uh, API and it's integrated with the system, that can be pushed across. Uh, but the important thing here is we're capturing that data. It helps that business, A, know who their consumers are, and B, target messages back that are relevant in the future. Okay. So Blair, if you if you're if you're actually putting this, you would actually put something like, for instance, on your website. Yeah, good question. But like, so click when it here comes and then and then they're like, you know, or type USA Voice Voice Data um, to to get a discount on X Y Z, right? And they they do that, and then and then they get that they'd automatically uh, get their first text. Yeah, absolutely. And that's really one of the pieces that we address, depending on the, the client and the type of business it is. But let's say they're a business that currently markets via billboards or radio or print or just a sign in front of their store, right? It's very passive marketing when it comes to that. But let's ask them to text in a keyword relevant to our business. It's doing two things. One is it's asking for an action. So when they do that from their cell phone, which we all have all the time, Great. Now you're now you as a business are capturing that person, getting their consent. Now you've got them, right? As a consumer, you're getting something in return. Maybe it's a coupon. Maybe it's specific information, right? Maybe it's you're signing up for critical alert so to keep your kids safe, you know, in, in their third grade class. There's always going to be a give because that's just marketing in general. But 
it's really simple to then capture it. It's very easy for a consumer to text in a keyword and that keyword can be posted anywhere. I've seen it on the sides of vans uh, for like AC repairmen. I've seen it on billboards. You heard in you know radio infomercials. We see them sometimes. You know if you're ever up late at you know three in the morning for some strange reason and there's an infomercial on, you'll see keywords plastered all over those. Right? Keywords are really one of the big marketing tools at this point. Okay. And then if that's not enough, we actually in the same vein we have online signup pages. Right? And I didn't go through that, but they can create an online signup page. We can either host a very simple one for them, or they can use it and then drop it into their website where you go in, you put in your name and your email and your cell phone number and whatnot, whatever data they, that business wants to collect, that's your consent. Once they hit submit, it populates in reach and now you're good to go. All right, so two different ways that the business can collect information from a client and get those opt-ins through Vonage Reach. And very easy to market those. So now we've got all our contacts, right? We've, we've either collected them you know, through keywords or what have you, or we've added them in, we've gotten consent outside of reach. We wanna send them a message, just a, just a regular old message. Um, uh, let's just call it, what's today, Wednesday? Taco, Taco Wednesday, right? We wanna push out a message to our individuals. As I mentioned earlier during that PowerPoint, is it's omni-channel. We can do texting, we can do email, we can actually post to the business Facebook or Twitter feed as well. For now, because texting is really what this call is about, really what Bonage Reach is about at its core. So we're gonna stick to text messaging, okay? The nice thing about it is you can send those messages now. Something's happening, push out that message. Maybe it's a, t well, a Wednesday afternoon at 1.30. Hey, business is slow for you. You wanna push out a message. Hey, come by by 4 p.m. and get a free whatever, right? You can do that. Um, or you, you push out those internal alerts. Uh, don't forget HR meeting. Everybody needs to show up at 4 p.m. today. Okay, very simple, push out those text messages, you're good to go. You can also schedule them for later, which we get a lot of questions about is, you know, it's kind of like the infomercial, right? The, the rotisserie cook thing, you set it and forget it. Same idea here. You can schedule those messages all to go out at, you know, at a future date, do it all at one time. Now all your messages are scheduled to go out, right? So you can do both, very easy for a business. A couple of things that I want to point out though on this screen. For one, the SMS header, this is always gonna be the business name, right? So we'll just leave it at Vonage Reach for now, but we have these tools so we can personalize those messages. The first one is the mail merge. We can drop in you know, their name if we have it. We can drop in dates. We can drop in any of those data points we've collected. We can drop them into the message. And whether you're sending this to two people or 200,000 people, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be personalized and pull the data from their cell phone record, okay? So, you know, Bob, you know, don't forget, you know, it's taco to Wednesday, right? Whatever, right? You get the idea there. You can drop in an image. So you can make it a true MMS, drop in an image of that taco plate. You're good to go. Uh, maybe you want to drop in a logo. Perfect. You can send those out as well. The other piece that is really important for our, our clients and our consumers is the ability to drop in links using a URL shortener. And let me say why this is important. First of all, it's gonna take all those really long links and shorten them down to 21 characters, 21, 22 characters, right? So it's gonna shorten it down, make it easy. But what using this URL shortener does in Vonage Reach is the business can track that data. So they push out a message with a link, hey, click the link to sign up for classes, click the link to sign up for XYZ, click the link to view these new cars, right? Reach is gonna collect the analytics on that for the business. Click-through rates, unique clicks, all of that fun stuff. And I'll show you in a couple minutes through another one of our features, how we can use that behavior of whether they've clicked the link or have not clicked the link to send very specific follow-up messages. Then it switches over into behavior-based messaging. Right? Another piece that sets Vonage Reach apart from everybody in the industry. Okay. Moving on from there, now we're gonna select our contacts. Remember all those data points that we collected and all our distribution list, awesome. We're gonna send out this message to, you know, these three distribution lists, let's say, but let's pretend we wanna get more granular, right? We've collected data points. We wanna push out a message to these three locations, all the clients at these three locations, but we wanna add a filter that says only those that are vegetarians, okay? So we're gonna push out that veggie pizza to those in that group. 
We're targeting our messages. We're getting the right message to the right individual. As long as we have those data points in Vonage Reach, we can get really granular in terms of who within our di distribution list are going to receive those messages. And so that's really important when it comes to reach, one of the pieces that sets us apart from everybody else. And then as Sam mentioned earlier, that compliance piece, just to show you what that will look like, at the bottom of every message, it's gonna have that text stop to opt out, okay? All right, so those are the basic features, right? So there's a lot that goes into those basic features in terms of the targeting, in terms of you know being able to drop in links, but now let's talk about some of those advanced features. And we're looking at about 20 minutes we're left, we have plenty of time. Go ahead and jump in a couple of these. First I'm gonna jump into is our voice broadcast though. Not much to show here, but I like to highlight it because it's a nice tool to have for a specific subset of clients. So if you work with anybody that deals with those individuals that don't text, right? They're not tech savvy. Um, Think, you know, San Diego Food Bank, for example, or uh, think of that golf course retirement community, right? A lot of their clients aren't tech savvy, but we need to get information out to them. So we want to push out a voice broadcast. Hey, just to know food deliveries are coming in tomorrow. Please stop by to pick up your, uh, your allotment. Or uh, to the community, uh, water main break on XYZ, please use alternate routes, right? So it's a way to push out informational alerts to those clients that are not tech savvy. So it's a really big tool for that subset of clients, okay? Now let's jump into a couple of these fun features. Uh, yes, no response, right? We talk about being able to push out messages, but let's say we wanna ask a question, right? You want feedback. Well, we can do that. We have a couple of tools in here to be able to do that. One of those is that yes, no response. Very simple, very straightforward. It's a yes or no question right? Um, used a lot with disaster recovery. Uh, I'm, I'm in North Carolina. I'm in coastal North Carolina. So Dorian just swept through here. Uh, we didn't get hit that badly, but some areas did, as we all know. Well, let's push out messages to make sure everybody's okay, right? If you have a, your business has an office in Charleston, South Carolina, or up, you know, around uh, Cape Hatteras, right? You want to be able to push out a message to your staff, to your employees, uh, maybe even your customers. Are you okay? Yes or no? Do you need help? Yes or no, right? Or maybe from a survey, would you recommend us to a friend? Yes or no. The great thing here is every time somebody responds, that is captured, instant feedback. You know all of your yeses, you know all of your noes, you know who you need to follow up with, okay? Jumping back in here, I'm gonna go into our multi-channel voting. It's kind of along the same vein, but now it's a multiple choice question. It's not just a simple yes or no. Let's give them options. Uh, cool use case I saw for this, we were working with uh, a religious organization and they were putting on a weekend of plays for all of their children and young adults, right? And they were all in these different plays. They created a survey where people could text in their favorite performance, their favorite performer, so on and so forth. So they created like a voting tool, like American Idol, I guess, for lack of a better way of putting it, all right? But you can ask really whatever multiple qu choice question you want. We'll keep it simple for today. You know, how would you, how would you rate us? Perfect. Well, let's give them options now. Uh, great. If they say great, we want to reward that behavior. You know, hey, thanks for the feedback. If I could spell, that'd be better. Feedback. Click this link to our Yelp page to leave us a positive review. Drop in a link to the Yelp page. Now they're going to click on it. They go to Yelp, leave that positive review. Awesome. You're building your book of business. You're being able to get that feedback. And you're letting the world know that, hey, you're a great business, right? That's huge for, for customers, really huge for customers nowadays. But let's say, you know what, it was poor. The service was terrible. Um, they misquoted me on my car repair, whatever it is, right? We don't want them to go leave that review on Yelp, obviously, right? So, hey, sorry, sorry to hear it. Um, you know, contact us at, you know, whatever the number is to tell us more right? Or contact, you know, Paul at this number to tell us more, right? So you're going to try and mitigate any of that negative press, get instant feedback, correct whatever the issue is, turn that negative into a positive. It's all about retention in that way, right? You don't want to lose that consumer and you don't want him to go, him or her going to tell everybody else how horrible it was at your shop, right? Another piece that's really important for businesses. So it's not just that one-way communication. Now we're actually two-way communication. 
And now with a few minutes here, I want to jump into auto campaigns. And the reason why is because this tool is huge. This is this is that tool when we talk to people, when we're talking and doing our discovery calls, we're trying to figure out, you know, how do what's our edge? How do we fit into this client? We're talking about their dream scenario. You know, tell us your dream communication scenario and let us do it for you. Let us show you how it can be done. Auto campaigns achieves all that. Right? It's uh, one of our sales engineers will call, calls it an open sandbox, right? Come into the open sandbox, play around, build whatever castle you want, you're good to go. This is a demo that I just quickly built uh, before this call. And go ahead and if you have your cell phones on you, pull them out. Uh, and I'm sure everybody does because uh, we're all tied to them, right? So go ahead and pull out your cell phone. And what I want you to do to the phone number 50601, the body of the text, just do USA voice, all one word. It's not, it's not case sensitive, just one word, USA voice, okay? What was the number again? 50601. Okay, 601. Mm -hmm. six, zero, and it's gonna take you through, yep. And then and USA then... voice. All one word. And for everybody that gets this link, after the fact, I'm going to leave this demo open. So if you get the link, you're listening to it, you want to test it out and play with it, by all means, uh, go for it. But it's going to take you through a process, right? You're going to get the initial compliance message, you know, and then something like, hey, thanks for signing up or thanks for joining us today, I think is what I put. I don't quite remember. Um, but then it's going to ask you some questions, right? And it's going to look similar to this. It's a decision tree, right? Triggering event, in this case, it was the keyword. We're going to ask you a question. Hey, what's your name? Once you respond with your name, we're gonna say, okay, thanks. Thanks for that. Nice to meet you, so-and-so. What's your email address? And once we get that, we're gonna be like, awesome. Go ahead and we're ready to register an op. Here's the link to do so. Or contact Angelo. And it's gonna wait for you to click that link. If you click that link, you're gonna go down this path here. If you don't click that link, I think after I did a week or six days or something like that, it's gonna ping you again. Just kind of tap you on your shoulder there and say, you know what? You didn't click the link for whatever reason, how can we help you further, right? So this is a very, very nice tool to be able to have that engagement. And there's a number of ways that this can be used, okay? A number of ways. The important couple things that I wanna point out as you're going through that. I'm not pushing any buttons to send out any of these messages. The nice thing about it is we're capturing data, right? So once you put in your name, you'll notice that some of the follow-up emails actually address you by your name in your text message, very personalized, okay? The other pieces that I wanted to point out is that link tracking, that behavior-based uh, tracking, right? Depending on if you click the link or not, it's going down different paths, okay? The other piece is if after, you know, a certain amount of time, you don't, you don't engage anymore, you've dropped off the face of the planet, well, our system can just reach back out to you, touch you on the shoulder, and follow up with you after a week, a month, a year even, right? It's about the engagement. It's about not losing your clients. Okay. Did everybody have a chance to kind of walk through that? I see some people have triggered it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it's nice too, right? It's If your clients need to, need to qualify individual from a recruiting perspective, right? Somebody text in jobs, to you know, 50601, and now we wanna qualify them. You know, what's your experience level? What type of job are you interested in? What location? Once we get all that, we deliver a link very specifically back to them. Say, click this link for the jobs that meet your criteria. From a sales perspective, it's, it's endless, right? Qualify the individual, get them coupons, or get them links to the right information. Oh, by the way, we can continue to reach out to them over time to stay in touch. It's a huge tool, massive, right? Think of what it can do for your customers. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking what it can do for us ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> as well, right? You know, I mean, you know, us communicating with our partners, you know, being able to like trickle feed, hey, you know, little reminders about these events that we're holding, and you know, just checking in as well as our clients. How, how's everything going, you know, whatever, right? 
So um, I think that's pretty. Absolutely. That's pretty Absolutely. And, and there's a number of other tools within Von Edge Reach. I mean, those are the big ones. Those are, those are the ones that most commonly are used, are those features. Um, getting contacts in, being able to send those very targeted messages back, very specific. Uh, asking questions, qualifying individuals, whether it be surveys, whether it be you know disaster recovery, or just confirmation that they're going to attend the meeting at 4 p.m. Or in the case of this, you know, sending out, you know, Sam, as you mentioned, being able to send out that message a day in advance and hey don't forget we have this lunch and learn tomorrow at xyz time please confirm that you're going to attend yes or no right you're going to get an idea beforehand of who all is going to be there right and then maybe it automatically sends a follow-up an hour before say hey don't forget join us at 1 p.m or whatever it is right so being able to do all this out of one platform for a business is absolutely huge i mean a question came up earlier well they have it built in it pushes out those messages great we can do that Bonnage Reach can do that, but Bonnage Reach can handle all of their communication needs when it comes to staying engaged with their clients, their employees, or what have you. Okay. Blair, we're uh, we're about ten minutes away, so um, mm -hmm. I, I want to make sure we allow some time for answering questions and so on and so forth. And obviously, one thing which we haven't touched on at all, uh, probably a, a question in everyone's mind, is how do how do the your clients pay for bondage reach how is it you know what's the billing structure yeah absolutely great question so pricing uh, within bondage reach credits are our currency and you can see up here i have this big blue c with i don't know what is that like seventy five thousand almost credits so credits are our currency and the way it works is every sms message sent to received is going to be one credit if they do an MMS message, maybe they want to drop in that image or they want to uh, have a really long text message, that's going to be three credits per message. And then the voice broadcast feature is priced a little bit differently, three credits per minute. And that part is less important, but the idea is that it's a credit based system. And the way that it's priced is it's tier based. So we have a tier for every client essentially. So we have a very small entry level tier, or maybe they're only using it for critical alerts for you know 200 employees, for example. So we have a very small tier that gives them 3,000 credits per month. Unused credits do roll over, which is the important piece. And that's priced at only $150 a month. Okay. And we have tiers going all the way up. Um, our highest kind of pre-baked tier gives them 75,000 credits per month. And that's only gonna be at 1,490. Okay. Within each of those tiers, there are other pieces involved, right? We talked about those enterprise level controls. Um, lower tiers only give them one login. Higher tier gives them 15 uh, separate uh, sub accounts. And then tiers in between kind of, you know, fit into there, right? The number of keywords. So think about keywords as well, depending on that business need. Um, those are divided up, obviously, between the tiers as well. That lower tier only gets a couple. The higher tier gets a, a bunch, right? So there are a couple other pieces that go into the pricing. But when it breaks down, credit-based system, it's tier-based on a monthly payment. Uh, everything has a 12-month contract uh, going forward. Unused credits do rollover. So pricing anywhere from 150 up to you know, almost 1,500. And then for our, our larger clients, we have tiers that can go above that that we can build those tiers for them that meet their needs. So a number so, of options. It's really, it's really a tool that's meant for every client. It's not, it's not something where only your you know, your Pepsis and your Nikes of the world can, can go in and play with. It's, you know, Joe's Pizza Shop all the way up to Nike. So 150 bucks a month, 12 month contract. It's less than 2000, it's 1800 bucks for the year, um, which I'm pretty much guessing any business could potentially benefit from, right? Um, and, and what happens at the end of the contract? Does it just roll month to month after that or? It, yeah, it would roll month to month after that, um, unless sure. they wanted to, to re-up for, okay. for a contract term. I mean, that's really up to the business and, at that point. And then are there any startup costs, uh, you know, around actually helping us, you know, oh, get our, our, get our uh, campaigns planned out and stuff yeah. like that? And... Great question. Yeah. So every client that we have that signs up gets an initial onboarding session, which is about a half hour long. Right. It's kind of the meet and greet, you know, making sure you can get logged in, making sure, you know, we talk about your campaign strategy a little bit, um, but getting you going, you know, so that you're not just left on your own. From there, our higher tiers, our mid and higher tiers actually have that dedicated account management that I spoke about earlier. 
somebody to really hold their hand through their entire time with bond and reach. But if they're not on one of those higher tiers, but they, they want the help, they want the additional you know, one-on-one training, we actually have a, a quick start program, one-time fee per account. It's only $300, right? Gives them the additional uh, one-on-one training that they're looking for. If those pieces aren't enough, again, we have the tutorial videos, but we also host training webinars every other week that clients can sign up with and learn. It's one of our trainers kind of just go through um, the system, kind of like I did, but more in depth, and really they focus on the key features. Um, but there's that training that's included for all of our clients as well. So a number of resources for clients to be successful. Pretty cool. Yeah, great questions. What other questions, uh, questions, thoughts amongst the group? Hey Blair, um, question on the on the video texting. Mm-hmm. Do you do you guys have something? Do you guys have an app they could install on the smartphones these days? And then if if uh, for example, you know, you want to do some video texting, video marketing uh, to your clients, uh, do you, is that feature available yet, or you guys are working on that? Right? No, we don't. The great thing about Vonage Reach is there's no app to install. Right, it's all handled via texting. So it's not a matter of having to have your clients go through the steps of downloading an app and then having to have their push notifications turned on and all the other junk that goes along with having to have an app plus the cost to maintain it. But if you want to deliver those video messages, two ways to do it. One is you can drop a video straight into the message itself. Comes on their phone. We've all received video messages. Great. It plays once you you open up your text message. Perfect. But what's even better than that is dropping in a link to that video. And that does two things. One is it's a better user experience, right? They click on the link, it opens up, you know, Vimeo or YouTube or whatever other website and plays the video. So it's a much cleaner video than we get via text. The other thing it does for that business is now they have the analytics on who's engaging with that text message by clicking the link to watch the video. So this way tends to be much better than having an app and having to push them through an app that way. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you. Good question. Well, do you have do you have like uh, standard like integrations already set up with things like Pardot and CRM tools, so that when you are sending out text messages and so on and so forth, those campaigns and who clicks on stuff and so on and so forth make their way back into Pardot and Salesforce. Good question. We don't. Vonage Reach doesn't have any pre-built integrations. Uh, outside of a very basic Salesforce one, but there aren't the pre-built integrations simply because there are just too many, because we aren't industry specific, there are just too many CRMs, ATSs, patient management tools, all of that fun stuff to know where to put the money for that integration at. And it seems to be changing frequently, right? So yeah. the big ones now, obviously Salesforce is huge. You've got Bullhorn uh, in the recruiting in recruiting space. And then depending on the type of medical office it is, they all have their own depending on, you know, what they're doing, right? So there's just okay. too many of those to have that pre-built integration. But with that open API, the integration is really easy if they have an IT team or development team or what have you. But there is some basic integration already with Salesforce. Yeah, with Salesforce, there is some basic integration. Um, and it's really through the keywords. Uh, let me just get in here real quick. But it's one somebody texts in a keyword, it can drop in. Um, that contact into Salesforce as you know an opportunity or a lead or what have you, uh, just by clicking the Salesforce integration button through the keywords. Oh, create a new lead. Oh, I see. Yep. So from a okay. sales perspective, you know somebody sees your keyword and they're like, oh, great. Let me text. Uh, I don't know. Text business to to one two three four five. Once it does, it populates into their Salesforce. Um, the other piece that you can do through keywords, which is really important, I didn't really touch on as a business is you don't want to sit there and have to monitor Vonage Reach to see if somebody signed up with your keyword. You can actually alert uh, specific individuals or email addresses via our notification tool so that every time somebody texts in a keyword, there's an email that gets sent to, you know, sales at vonagereach.com, for example, right? So you're constantly notified when there's any activity. Cool. And with our last minute or two here, any other questions or anything that I didn't touch on that you'd like me to?
anyone? Can you just go back to the last slide and not our thing then, Blair? Uh, and we'll wrap it up. All right, guys. Well, uh, again, thanks so much for uh, your time today. Hopefully, this was useful. I, you know, I know it has me wondering uh, why aren't why why isn't USA Voice and Data using this already, right? Um, and I definitely think it's going to be something I'm going to be having to take a look at with Ross, etc., and Angelo uh, with some some ideas and so on and so forth. But uh, hopefully, you'll consider it for your your own businesses and uh, and obviously your uh, your clients. Um, and if if there is an opportunity you think worth uh, taking an exploration in, yeah. uh, obviously just reach out to Angelo or myself or Ross, and uh, we can uh, we can pull in uh, Blair to look at the uh, the possibilities with 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 yourselves or any of your clients. And with that, I'm just going to stop recording and uh, thank everyone for their time. <laughs>